Hi, I'm Jonathan Palmer, Chairman of Sasco Africa. Our group, headquartered in Gaborone, Botswana, is the largest industrial weighing company in Africa with subsidiaries in seven SADAC countries, the largest operation being in South Africa. Our business is focused on all sectors of industrial weighing, ranging from a few kilograms right up to 450 tons. We achieve this through partnering with the leading weighing technology developers in the world, and we combine these technologies with an advanced range of software applications. An emerging challenge for users of the Africa Road Network is the problem of complying with growing regulation relating to axle loadings. SASCO's solution to this challenge is SASCO Axleway, a unique instrumentation and software upgrade which makes it possible for, for most flush-mounted weighbridges to double up as both trade-approved weighbridges providing total weight and individual axle loadings. I hope you find the rest of this video informative. The National Roads Authority, together with the related regional and provincial authorities, are charged with many responsibilities, including preserving South Africa's roads. South Africa's roads are a national asset and are under serious pressure due to overloading. Importantly, overloading refers to both total weight and the distribution of that total weight. Overloading of heavy vehicles causes roads to deteriorate at a very high rate. A truck that is 10% overloaded causes more than double the damage of a legally loaded vehicle. The rail network in South Africa is not presently a viable substitution with 88% of all South African freight going by road. Based on data gathered at South African weighing stations, about 18% of all trucks are overloaded, and only about 5% were charged. Of those overloaded, the most common are four to five axle articulated trucks with single axle drives, tandem axles on semi-trailers. Things are going to change, and change fast. With financial constraints facing the National Roads Authority, the construction of many more weighing stations is unlikely. Funding is more likely to be focused on improving the efficiency and hit rate of present stations. This can best be achieved through self-regulation. Self-regulated industries and companies that sign up to this will be much less likely to be targeted at weighing stations. The framework for accrediting industries as self-regulated is in progress. Critical to this accreditation will be the requirement for a given industry to vouch internally for total loadings and individual axle loadings prior to trucks departing onto South Africa's roads. Systems that are put in place may also be required to generate documentary proof of compliant loadings on a trip-by-trip -trip basis. This is a standard 24-meter weigh bridge used in this case by Max Steel for weighing all outbound truck cargoes. This weigh bridge is of a typical design found throughout South Africa. It is flush mounted with the ground and has well constructed level approaches at both ends. This weigh bridge was in fact installed by Sasco at Max Steel a number of years ago. Approaching the weigh bridge is a standard three axle truck. The truck is approaching at around seven kilometers per hour. The weighing process is a normal trade weighing, which means that a commercial transaction is going to take place based on the weight determined for the goods on the truck. This weigh bridge must be accurately and correctly calibrated for trade purposes and a valid certificate issued to confirm its accuracy. Sasco has certified through issuing a verification certificate that this weigh bridge is accurate and can be used for trade purposes. With the truck now stationary on the weigh bridge, the operator can now determine the total weight, which is 23.46 tons. The truck is within the legal total permissible weight, so on the face of it, supplier, trucker and purchaser of the cargo might reasonably believe that should this truck get stopped, it will be found to be within legal overloading limits. The NRA is not just interested in total weight, but distribution of weight. Despite this truck being within tolerance, there is no way of immediately knowing the individual axle loadings. Or is there? Enter Sasco Axleway, 
a totally unique instrumentation and software application upgrade possible on standard flush-mounted way bridges. What Sasco Axleway does is enable a standard flush-mounted way bridge to be converted from a trade-approved instrument giving a total mass to both a trade-approved instrument giving total mass and an in-motion axle wear. So let's push enter on the indicator and what we have are the individual axle loadings on our truck. Sasco Axle Way offers a truck management database which includes a truck's key data, tire types and other data. The report generated shows not only axle weight but also permissible axle weight on this specific truck. To understand how Sasco Axleway works, one needs to understand what is involved in an upgrade of a waybridge to Sasco Axleway. Firstly, one needs a flush-mounted quality waybridge deck. Secondly, one needs to install Sasco's highly advanced CPD load cells. These load cells, which are made by Belancia in Italy, Europe's leading waybridge manufacturer, are not only the most advanced on the market, but also come with built-in lightning and rodent protection, and the ability to store calibrations. Thirdly, combined with these load cells, must be the equally advanced D800. Finally, Sasco Axle Way software must be loaded. As the truck starts to roll onto the bridge, this instrumentation and software begins to record the relative axle weights. As the truck comes to a halt and stabilizes, the total weight is computed. When enter is pushed on the indicator, the combination of the total weight, the individual axle loadings as determined when the first truck drove onto the waybridge, and the permissible axle weights are all compared by Sasco Axle Way in conjunction with the indicator. And in an instant, one has individual axle weights. What lies ahead for the suppliers, transporters and purchasers of goods transported by road is clear. Increased regulations and increased fines. With this, however, will come the opportunity to self-regulate and the requirement to measure not just total truck weights, but also axle loadings, generating documentary evidence that on a loading-by-loading -loading basis, this has been done. Sasco Axle Way is not a replacement for the NRA's weighing stations and their expensive multi-platform weigh bridges, but it is likely to be central to self-regulation and thereby an important contributor to preserving one of South Africa's national assets, its roads.